this is my 2016 compressed in a video. My big thing this year was launching Precious Plastic version 2. Spent months in the workspace, improving the machines, doing material experiments and recording instruction videos. All of this to make a package of knowledge to boost plastic recycling. And everything is shared online, for free, like a gift to the world. It was quite some work and the day after it got online, we moved our stuff, said goodbye to our house and went backpacking. Starting off chilling in the Maldives at the 5 star resort. Hi Dave. Yeah, this place was pretty neat. The unlimited amount of ice cream made it even better. Damn it. And while we were there, we also visited Tilafushi. It's one stinky island where all the pretty islands dump their waste. So here we have the Maldives and it's pretty nice. And here we have garbage island where they dump their stuff. So we teach some local kids about recycling. And after that, went straight to Mumbai. So we're currently at the slums in India, and, uh, but we're not really allowed to take any videos. So it's too bad because the place is quite fascinating. It really is. Their mentality on reusing stuff is amazing. Like this guy was cleaning old dirty paint buckets so they can be reused again. Hard to imagine that being a job. Anyway, in the morning we had super solid breakfast from this girl. Freshly squeezed. And yeah, cows are pretty common to see around here. Like everywhere around. And communism is still a big thing. Overall, landscapes in India are amazing. From chaotic cities, to tea fields, to temples, to rocks. Many rocks on impossible places. Like that one, I mean, who put it there? How did they got that there? Who put those things here? Seriously, no one knows where these things come from. And if you ask, they say... Because of the aliens. <laughs> <laughs> Time to move on. The fresh air in the Himalayas was great. <sighs> That's fresh air. So was the food in Malaysia. Thailand was way too touristic. Except for the monks, they were pretty badass. And with some politicians, I opened an upcycle center in South Korea. Waking up in the morning is always a surprise. A different view every day. But one thing was consistent. It was... Hot. However, that doesn't stop old Vietnamese from a good morning gym. Oh man, I should have made a movie from this. I can watch this for hours. And this guy was making wooden stamps, all hand carved. I really wanted one, but I think we had a miscommunication. I made some donuts in the sand hills and played around until finally I broke my camera. There was a stupid tiny grain of sand in the lens and it wouldn't open or close anymore. So I ordered a new part from Hong Kong to replace it. You only need a screwdriver, well a smaller one, smaller, 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 yeah that's about it. And carefully start taking it apart. Always amazing to see how many little components go in here. And finally replace the broken one and put it back together. And then it... Mm. <laughs> oh, come on you piece of... I can't wait for the day our electronics are modular and easy to repair. Which brings me to the next point. Google announcing to cancel Project Ara is just a lame move. Now it takes even longer. Meanwhile, we visited the clothing industry, where the cheap of the cheap stuff is being made. I bought a fake and real pair of shoes to run an experiment. And visited some landfills in Cambodia, where all the shit ends up. This place is massive. Meanwhile, I uploaded some videos about our trip and received pictures from people that build precious plastic machines. Amazing to see it all over the world getting started. We dropped by a few. Here's a set in Indonesia. It's getting blessed to take care of all the evil spirits. We did a beach cleanup to collect plastic and I got a nice mail from Yelena. She offered me to get my scuba license. For free. Pretty cool. 
And finally, we flew back over Dubai. Which looked cool from a distance, but was pretty boring. But overall, it was an amazing trip. Back home, the guys are still pooping in front of our workspace. I needed a new desk chair, so I made one myself. And went straight to Chicago for a presentation in the Museum of Contemporary Art. Made a stop at Marchen from Open Source Ecology. And a final stop in Mexico to drop by the university that built the machines. Watch some temples and hang out with the students. So what is it, the cricket or...? Yeah, yeah cricket. Yeah, Back home, I sold my car and bought a 1978 Honda. We made our own stove to cast aluminum molds. I shook hands with our queen. Story Opera was exhibited in a museum. Precious Plastic won an EcoCoin Impact Award. And we got nominated for the Designs of the Year Award. And in December, I was kind of tired, so I didn't really do much. Just chilling around, making this video. But probably the main thing I learned this year is this. Being a bit more comfortable with the camera. I mean, it's still pretty awkward to do, but it's a powerful tool to really share knowledge directly with you guys and get feedback on that. So I'm probably gonna use it more often. Anyway, thanks for watching this video and see you next year.